Alrighty then, hey this is Megalovaniac yet again, and I'm going to be continuing this playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. Now as you can see I've added a webcam for this because from what I do understand of this game, a lot of what comes out of it is reaction based and there's a fair amount of time where there's just text on screen and well since I don't read everything aloud, I think it's best to have the webcam up there since I will be reacting to things, just not always with words. So. With that said, I think we're good to go on recording this, so let's go ahead and load into the game. Also, uh, actually, right before we get started, uh, two quick notes. I did read some comments uh, about that I got on this, just because I I've been trying to avoid them, but I was very careful. I was like putting my finger up on the screen so that I um, wouldn't, if I saw even something slightly spoilery, I would not read any further. But, um, I got a couple of useful comments. Uh, one from someone... I can't remember their username exactly. I remember it ended with Jojo, though. Um, that person let me know that there I should play at least till a week into the game. There's, I believe, a festival they mentioned? Which is... Uh, that's about how far I should play in at the very least, even if I do it only on my own time. So I'm planning on recording at least up till that point. I'm not sure if I'll record past that. Maybe if it grabs my interest, we'll see. Either way though, um, the second comment I got was from Cyber Hectics, I believe the name was, um, recommending me to, um, or rather explaining a little bit to me about the poetry system. And this is something I actually kind of suspected already, but they confirmed it for me, which was very useful. So from what I understand of the poetry system, there are different words that have to be picked and each character likes different types of words and based on which ones I click will define which path I go down for the game. Apparently there's a romance path for each girl, which, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I've, I've never been one for these romance games very much, they're just not my thing. I don't know, never really appealed to me. But, um, I'll still play through it because I've heard this is an exceptional game, so I'll give it a shot. As long as there's no scenes that I'll have to censor from YouTube, in which case, if I get to one of those scenes, expect no more episodes. Well, you know what I mean by censor. Either way, um, let's go ahead and get into it. You skip on fast forward through text you've already read. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, so now for another beautiful poem. I believe this is technically day three. Papa, hop, or a baron. Okay, uh, another thing I'm going to note. Um, since apparently I chose mostly cute words last time, I got Sundre Loli to like me, since she likes cute stuff, which is why I got the scene with her. Now apparently I can go back and forth between different days and get different scenes with different characters. I think I'm going to focus on just getting her scenes. You see, my logic on this is if this game does capture my attention, and I do end up enjoying playing it and want to play through it more, I might end up starting over and going through all the scenes with different characters, so I may as well make this run focused on her, so that if I do any runs in the future, it'll focus on different characters, if that makes any sense. Nah, I'm sure it makes sense. Either way, um, I guess we're gonna be choosing mostly cute things then, so lollipop. Yep. Uh, fluffy? Okay. Uh, lust, broken, milk. I'm still gonna be looking through all these. Vanilla? Sure. There's still these bizarre ones that are mixed in there, like pain or death, I, like my dead puppy story last time. Kawaii! Yep. Um, this fortune variance prayer sing rain cloud? Maybe? Hopeless disaster disown. These are giving me unending secretive misfortune. These are more and more sad options. Uh, sing. Okay, I missed one. Uh, cute. Okay, that was an easy one. Poof. I think so. Uncanny play bunny. Doki Doki. I'm. What is. I don't even remember what. I don't know what Doki Doki means, even though I know of some Japanese. Doki Doki is not one I know of. Uh, mouse? There we go. Um. Suicide. Uh, not exactly a nice subject. Uh, bouncy. Uh, charm. Existence. Jeez. Marshmallow! And. Contamination? Unstable, wonderful, lucky? Nah. Eh. Sense mask or happiness. Sunny? Okay, no. Silly whistle, rainbow. Rainbow! Okay, I'm now going. 
I might actually end up messing this up and getting the wrong character. Uh, I'm at 15 out of 20, though. Strawberry? There we go. Uh, chaos Intellectual Portrait, Bed, Horror, Entropy, Socks, Excitement, Bliss, Blanket? Okay. Uh, Puppy. That's an easy one. Uh, after him. After image? Okay. Um, color, Sunset, Analysis, Swimsuit, Tragedy, Skipping. Skipping? Okay. Bubbles. There we go. Okay, last one. Uh, sugar? There we go. I think that should be solidly into uh, Loli Sundere. <sighs> Let's see. Hello again. By the way, it's been like two weeks since I played this, so I don't remember all the characters' names uh, immediately. I'm going to try to remember them, though. Okay, Sayori. I remember you because I thought your name was Sayori at first. Okay. Or not. Uh-huh. Hmm. So she has no money. Okay. That's a fair point. Hmm. <laughs> I admit, even though these characters are, well, let's be honest, they're kind of just cookie cutter at this point. I'm sure they have some sort of development to them that is abnormal. I mean, that conflict resolution from the last episode was actually kind of interesting. Not many games would take that approach. But, right now, these kind of games don't really appeal to me because it's it's like reading a book that has no real depth to it. I mean, one visual novel I did play through a fair amount what, that is the exception to that rule was, um, what was the name of it? Karawa Shoujo. That one was really good. But this is... I forgot to set myself as busy. Well, time to fix that real quick. Uh, you're seeing in my list of friends here, but eh, I don't think anyone's really going to... I am set to busy. It should be coming up with those... Eh, I'll set up those alerts off later. Whatever. Hmm. Wait a minute. I, I'm sorry, I, I missed part of what they said there. Uh, don't feel guilty. I get that. Wait, no. Um. Okay, for some, I thought she commented on something that was going on, but I guess not. She has a point. Yeah, um, still, like, little scenes like this, while kind of interesting, they don't really give any real character development, and they're not that interesting to me. I don't know. I've heard this game is good, though, so I'm still gonna give it a shot. Speaking your mind's important. I guess she's just a shy type, though. Okay. I was wondering what she was trying to say. Hmm. This is true. She's oddly manipulative. Hmm. But in an, in an endearing way. This is true. Whoa, wait a minute. 
You had to trick her into making cupcakes so you could trick me into coming. Okay, she's actually very manipulative. Did I just slap her? Okay, I didn't slap her, okay. A cookie. <laughs> Wait. Oh, retribution. I, I have no idea what she's trying to say. Okay. <coughs> okay, just choked on my own tongue a little bit there. Sorry. Um, I was going to say, that was legitimately funny. Wait, she hugs the cookie. Okay. Good job. Clever, though. <laughs> mm, it's a point. She hasn't actually said anything yet. Sorry. Have to make a point of remembering. Monica is, uh... Or Monica, or however it's pronounced. Um, club president. Natsuki. Loli Sundere. Yuri, I want to say, is Shy Girl? Yes. Hmm. That's right, she's the popular girl as well as club president, which makes sense. I wouldn't say that, but okay. Who does she remind me of? Monica. Her hair reminds me of, um... Oh, what's the name? Blinking. How can I forget this? Clanad. Uh, sorry. Character... How am I forgetting her name? Nah, it's probably because I just, I'm trying so hard to memorize these characters' names. I can't remember the character's name. But, um... Main girl and her mother both have this same hairstyle she has. I'm gonna remember it just randomly in the middle of this episode now. She's been acting a little bit stranger than the others this whole time, which is saying something. I'm just wondering... I, again, I'm keeping an eye out for what's going on with this game, because I know there's something more than the cutesy upper layer of it. Oh, play piano. Interesting. I actually always wanted to learn piano as well, but never got around to it. Might do it someday still. Okay. I'm still trying to remember the name of that character from Clan Ad, and I don't know why I can't remember it. Nagisa, I think. Yeah, Nagisa sounds right. Sorry, it's been a long time since I watched Clan Ad. Really good show, by the way. Also based on a visual novel. But, either way. Hmm. 
Is it actually gonna play music? Because I'd appreciate that because this generic, like, schoolroom music is actually really bland. Sorry, I don't mean to criticize this game a whole bunch, but... I don't know. I was told this game is exceptionally good, but... I suppose most visual novels do take a while to get rolling. Eh, let's we'll see. I guess I had my expe expect expectations high. So... Maybe just because it's coming off as very simple and generic, it's kind of... It's not exactly a big letdown or anything like that. I wasn't expecting something huge, but I was expecting something really good. So, we'll see if it lives up, but right now it isn't. Okay, is this a scene I get now because I made cutesy poetry? Or does that happen after I do my poetry? Yeah, whatever. Fair enough. No, I can't blame you. I've had plenty of some friends ruin books of mine. You had just met me, though. Eh, whatever. Well, yeah, that's kind of what's fun about reading and watching shows together. Right, wasn't there something about her rearranging the books in a way she didn't like? Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, I can't actually tell what they're supposed to look like because the actual closet looks exactly the same as when I last saw it. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, actually. Is this going to lead exactly to what I think it is? I never really liked the triangle. I'm, I'm trying to replicate that look with my fingers. Those triangle eyes that they put they have in this game. I see it in a lot of different things, but I've never really liked how it looks. It just looks weird to me. usually roll? Yes, they do. Yeah, that's exactly my point. That seems like a really bad idea. Hmm. That still seems very dangerous, but yeah, would you look at that? I suppose. Let me guess. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, because I noticed this is basically a gratuitous ass shot here. And it's like, oh, hold the chair. Uh, yeah, that's going. Let me guess. She's going to notice, comment about it, lead to awkward situation, lead to resolution. Mm-hmm. 
Either that or she falls on top, which is another completely awkward situation that is cliche in these type of things. <sighs> yep, there it is. Yep. I'm sorry, again, I don't mean to be overly critical of this game, but this is like one of the most cliche scenes in any show. I've seen this so many times it's actually got- it starts to get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it myself, she's gonna fall. Probably now she's gonna fall on top of my character, which is going to make it even more awkward. Awkward? Yeah, whatever. Oh, there it is. Let me guess, a uh, specific image for this as well? Nope, not just a very zoomed in normal image, okay. That's a good question, though. You know that she's not that tall. Oh, yes, there it is. Hmm. I am I what? when that happens. Why is the music on silent? Oh. Well, there's a simple solution to that. You just gotta close the book on that page, make sure it's folded correctly, and then stack a whole ton of books on top of it. It's the only real way to fix it. Oh wow, she's really crying. from what I expected. Hmm. Okay, um, taking a quick moment here. This is the second time this game has done this. I, I mentioned with the argument before where it was an argument where I felt like I had to pick a side, which was kind of unreasonable. When I did pick a side, though, it actually came to a reasonable solution, which I greatly appreciated. I thought that was actually kind of unusual, and I liked that. This is another case of that, actually, where it's a completely stereotypical situation that I'm really sick of seeing that actually has her explaining some, a legitimate reason for acting that way. It doesn't fully excuse the whole, it's a complete stereotypical situation thing, but at least has a resolution to it that I can appreciate. I do, it does make me wonder what's going on with her. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she's bullied a lot. Which seems strange, she seems nice enough. Well, nah, she's got the tsundere thing going for her. But I can't see why she'd be bullied in a school like this. Well, then again, I don't know anything about this school.
Hmm. I wonder what's going on. Sorry, I'm hearing noises outstairs, outside, upstairs, one of those two. I really need to get better soundproofing for this room. Or I need to learn to stop reacting to random noises that happen in the house. One of those two. Sorry, I'm still thinking about what's going on with her, so sorry if I'm being unusually silent. That actually has my attention now. I'm wondering if it's some sort of, sort of like, bad home kind of thing, or... My guess is, whatever it is, she uses manga as some sort of an escape, which I can completely understand. Well, apparently it actually is a decent story. It kind of reminds me, like, there are, like, I haven't read a lot of shoujo manga, which is, I assume, what she's actually talking about here. It sounds like shoujo. But, um, the only one I have, well, no, I didn't read the manga, I watched the anime. Um, I did end up enjoying it after a while, but most of them that I do see just don't appeal to me. But I guess they're not supposed to. But, still, some of them do have legitimately really good stories, but... I guess it's kind of like how a lot of shonen manga will also have just a lot of crap out there, but some good stuff. Show any any uh, subtype is the same way. Hmm. I guess last time we I think we went last time Natsuki Sayori, Yuri then Monica. I'm gonna do the same thing this time. Natsuki first. So she's probably gonna love it because it's incredibly cutesy. Okay. Oh, I guess she's afraid to give a compliment because Sundre. Hmm. So she is competing with Yuri then. Well, I guess that kind of, we got we got a little bit of a sense of that in the last episode, but. she's aware that it has a bunch of cutesy stuff because I didn't actually write a poem I just clicked on letters I wonder if the others are gonna have a different reaction okay bye not that I know of again not that I know of Technically, yes. I was a, I was told vaguely how the poem system works, and I tried to center it around the character that I appealed to the first time. So I guess so? I guess so? Then again, everyone seemed to like my poem the other day. I wonder if there's some, some sort of a balance path. That'd be interesting. What do you mean by cheating? If I read cheating, you mean reading the comments? Yes. I 
Okay, I made a comment last time about her maybe being aware that this is actually a game. Because again, I've heard there's something that makes this game really different. I can't remember the details though because I... Okay, when I was advised to, to play this game, I tried to gloss over the details of what made it good. Because usually when I hear something's really good, I try to know as little about it as possible going in, which is part of the fun for me. But... As far as, again, cheating, I did take some time in between. If she is aware that this is a game, just again, running off a of random theory here, don't know what it is that makes this game different. Um, it's kind of funny that she commented about that because cheating doesn't really make any sense unless you're looking up a guide to the game. I write the poem technically for the whole group. I mean, technically I apparently wrote it for her, but you get the idea. Hmm. Exactly my point. Hmm. Wait. Is that actually going to make it so I can't show the others and I can't see the reactions? Hmm. Oh yeah, right, I have to read her poem as well. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Ickly, icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm not of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are, are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The, bur the world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm going to tell everyone. I'm sorry, this is weird. I don't... I feel like this is trying to say something, but I'm not sure what. I mean, it's not a bad poem, but... What is the meaning behind this? Hmm. I mean, I kind of like the short, simple poems, honestly. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel. We'll see. Is it? I mean, kind of the whole concept of judging someone based off of a single aspect of their personality. Yeah. That's about the gist of it. But spiders are nice. They are friends. Hello? Thinks my what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for some reason, when I was initially reading the poem, I thought it was supposed to be her b perspective of just judging someone based on a single aspect of their personality, which seemed dumb. But no, I guess it, it's, it's a decent poem. I, I can see the meaning behind it. So as far as her referring to herself, does it have to do with the manga? Which doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me, but then again, I read manga, so what do I know? 
Or is there something else that she does that's weird and people and she doesn't like to show people? Eh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say thanks for being honest in a situation like that. It implies she... Yeah, exactly. It implies that she lies often. Then again, she does often hide her feelings, but that's beside the point. Oh. So it doesn't have... Oh, uh, what was her name? Class... Or, not class president, but... Maybe class president also, but... Club president. What was her name? Noka, was it? Or am I thinking of some other show I've been watching recently? Eh, uh, Sayori was next on the list for showing people. Also, I want to point out that my character said it's not fair because Sayori hasn't gotten to read it yet. Didn't mention Yuri, which is interesting. Just a little thing I noticed. Okay, fair enough. I get the feeling you're the type who doesn't ever give an opinion about something and just says, that's nice, that's good, I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, fair enough. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, that's actually a good... Well, no, I... Oh, that person who was recommending me about different things was talking about what different people like. I only memorized what the one I had already managed to impress was. Uh, Natsuki liked cute things, which I had figured out on my own. I want to say Sayori liked emotional things? I'm not sure. Sorry again if I'm being silent, this game is almost entirely reading with not that much to react to. It's a lot of very simple stuff. Not really... Like, I can react to the poems and such, and occasionally I can react to things in a scene, but... Most of the conversation in this game is not that engrossing. Like, I've started uh, Danganronpa recently, which technically is a visual novel as well. However, it's got the murder mystery going on, it's got the investigation, it's got all kinds of interesting characters in it. So that actually has plenty for me to talk about at any given time. This... doesn't. Now, maybe I shouldn't have started another visual novel alongside this, because I'm going to... end up, like, probably favoring one more than the other. But we'll see. Kind of, yeah, I guess. Okay, so yesterday I liked her random ending of... Was it, I want breakfast? Hmm. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a... What? I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. There's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. I put it in a bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. I know this is talking like happy thoughts, grabbing something pleasant out of your head, but, um... It's the way she starts it off with, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie, cookie jar. That sounds... Weird. Anyway. Oh, didn't mean to scroll that much. Uh, my collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends... My friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day? 
Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. Okay, this is oddly making me feel uncomfortable, because I want to point out one thing. Her poem yesterday was very literal about what she was writing about. There's no symbolism or anything like that, for the most part. It's pretty much just what was going on in the morning. This just seems weird. I blow the dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shell could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door? Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. What the hell, Sayori? That was weird as hell. I like it. Yeah, this is oddly dark. Kind of like... I'm trying to think of a way of describing it, like... It's kind of like a happy fantasy come crashing down story. It's... Odd, but really interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit creepy, and I like that. I like creepy... Like... I don't know, I don't always like creepy poetry, but some of it, like, I love Edgar Allan Poe's stuff. That's always good. No, I don't think you are thinking too hard about it, me. Um, you should probably think harder about that. Hmm. And apparently he's playing Tabletop Simulator now. I really need to turn off those notifications. I'll figure that out in between episodes. To be fair, I do that exact same thing. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm up, still uploading on a nearly daily basis after a couple weeks have passed now. I usually end up dropping off after like a week or so and end up going into a much less frequent upload schedule. Yuri is the last one on the list. I guess it's kind of interesting how Monica just kind of disappeared from it though. I think did I say her name correctly earlier? Monica. Monica. Now I have a way of remembering that. It's Monica, and I keep thinking Monica because- or Monica. You get the idea. Um, these are Japanese names, so I think Monica, when it's obviously just Monica. So, that's the way I can remember it. Unless it actually is supposed to be Monica, because this does have a lot of Japanese names, so who knows. Yes, it is a bit different. I wrote it trying to accomplish something this time. Okay, so she d they do seem to be reacting that I'm actually writing things kind of differently now. Hmm. That's right! I didn't get a single, like, the little characters that are down in the bottom left. Uh, hers didn't jump up once. So she actually might be feeling a bit left out. That's kind of sad because she clearly has trouble opening up and now I'm kind of neglecting her entirely. Mm. Mm. That's true, I did like her poetry. It was quite good. That is also true. 
Yeah, jumping to the whole people don't like you conclusion, I can understand that. This is actually making me legitimately want to try writing poetry, although I know I'd be terrible at it, so I probably will never do that. Hmm. But the way they describe it actually does sound quite in sound interesting, I guess. Exactly, just kind of a way of expressing yourself in a different way. Raccoon. Okay. Uh, cursive often messes with my eyes, so give me a moment on this one. It is nice handwriting, though. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttling of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strained ten tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of all the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread my hungry curiosity, the raccoon an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife, the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly, newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. Pavlovian conditioning, I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I'm not good with metaphors, by the way, so if I miss the meaning on this, I, I'm, I actually, I'll say that completely. I've completely missed the meaning on this. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's true, it did give good imagery. Did your unusual hobbies happen to involve feeding raccoons? I know that's not what the metaphor's about, but... Damn, that's all I can think of. up a second. Let's go back to Natsuki's thing. She- okay, Yuri is talking about her unusual hobbies, and now Natsuki was talking about her poem of hating someone for their unusual hobbies. I know the whole point of Natsuki's poem was that hating someone for one thing that they have that's unusual about them doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But, I don't know, just kind of an interesting connection there. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. I like the parallels between these two. Mm, I feel like she'd make fun of them in a friendly way. You know, the way how friends will kind of make fun of each other, but be accepting at the same time. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. That's everyone shown now, since Monica came in while I was showing Natsuki. I wonder what would have happened if I had shown Monica first. Would have played out differently, I guess. Okay, uh, Monica, we haven't actually read your poem, but, um... Yeah, Festival, this is what I heard about that's after the first week. Hmm. 
Okay, what are you planning on? Mm-hmm. Performing? Uh, by performing, what do you mean? Hmm, okay, poetry performance, that's manageable. I thought you were talking like a play or something in which we had like a couple days to rehearse, which would go terribly. Okay, poetry reading. I can go for it, but the problem is, um, this is a high school, and we're the literature club. Do you think literally, literally, anyone is going to end up coming in up and bring poetry except for us? And even, and maybe some people will show up and listen, but not too likely. Yeah, she kind of should have consulted the whole club for it. But I guess if we have to do something, it makes the most sense. Hmm. Yeah, I can't imagine you're already doing too well with that. That's true, I had forgot about I I had forgotten about that. This uh, Monica person, I keep thinking she's le she knows more than she's letting on, so I keep... I'm starting to question what she's doing. I'm questioning all these characters in various ways, which is good. Um, they all came off as basic generic characters, but they're slowly starting to grow into something interesting, which is a step in the right direction. But it's slow. I've been playing this for like, what, almost three hours now? Um, actually, probably closer to like two, maybe two and a half. Still slow start for a game that's entirely text, but I guess most visual novels are like this. I don't know, there, there's a reason why these aren't my type of games, typically. Reciting poems not that difficult. Although reading aloud is difficult. I've done better with it with reading the poetry in this than I expected myself to. Normally I'm terrible at reading aloud. And actually, I kind of like doing games where I I were I'd like to do more games where I can voice the characters. In this I feel weird voicing a bunch of teenage girls, as you can imagine. It'll either A well, actually, no, it's going, there's only one possible solution for it. I would end up doing terrible voices for it, which would complete... Well, no, there's two solutions. I'd either do terrible voices for it, which would end up just being awkward and cringeworthy, or I'd do completely goofy voices for it, which, if this game has any serious moments, that would completely ruin it, which I don't want to do. So, hence why I don't actually read for these characters. But I would like to play some games where I could read for the characters. That'd be kind of interesting. We'll see, though. Maybe sometime in the future. Hmm. By the way, I'm pretty sure I still haven't officially said I'm a member yet, but I guess I'm now saying it. Sorry, I'm legitimately wondering if she's serious about that. Okay, so again, playing into things, this Monica girl seems to know more than she is letting on about things. Uh, Yuri makes a comment about this will be the death of me, and Monica seems to be, like she has a don't say that kind of thing, but she's sweating a little bit during it. I don't know, maybe there's more to it, I may be reading in too much to everything, but yeah, we'll see. This is fair. All right, we still haven't gotten Monica's poem. The 
way of the fly. By the way, I'm going to read this one aloud because I've been reading all the poems aloud, even though technically it's supposed to be her reading it. I've been reading all the poems. I smell food. Oh my god, I just realized how starving I am. Either way, I, I've been reading all the other poems, so I'll be reading this one aloud. Or I won't be because it doesn't actually tell me what it says. Sorry, right, thinking things to myself. Everything about this character is making me question this game, though, because I know there's something more to this game that people are not telling me, and of course I don't want to know because I don't want to look it up. But... Sorry, I'm over-reading into everything now, and it's making me a little bit nervous. I'm just wondering what is going to be different about this game. Oh, it's a different poem from what she did earlier. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't want to be outdone? I don't know. For her. We should. We didn't really react, apparently. Hmm. And again, okay. Apparently, these people have been writing a bunch of poems that I don't know about. Good way of putting it. Serene and bittersweet. Hmm. There is more to this character that I want to know, but I'm not trying to appeal to her character this time around, so we'll see how it goes. Does that mean she writes those somewhat creepy poems more often than I've seen? Hmm. Hmm. Eh. I was going to apologize for questioning things too much again, but I think I've apologized for that enough. Oh well, th thank you for having so much confidence in me. Accurate, but still, thank you for the complete lack of confidence. Yeah, I guess the others have written several poems, even if they haven't been sharing them so far. And it's called the Literature Club, but I'm pretty sure it's more of a poetry club, but I guess that explains... Uh, Natsuki reads manga, which is also technically liter literature, and Yuri reads... I don't know. Literature is a broad term, but it seems to be focusing on poetry.
because that's the whole point. We still didn't get to see what Monica's uh, poem was for today, though, so I'm kind of wondering about that. Last time her poem made me ask questions about her character, so... And this time, uh, Sayori's poem made me really ask questions about her character. And I guess then Natsuki and Yuri's made me compare the two of them, so... I don't know, the poems are actually some of the most interesting parts of this game so far. Uh, that's not usually how it goes, Natsuki. Why do you have trouble with it with us, then? Hmm. That's supposed to each their own. Yeah, usually for most people it's hard for random people, but... Then again, um, funny thing with that. If I were in the same situation, I'd probably be very awkward in front of a group of my friends. And yet I can record videos online for god knows how many people to watch, probably just like five, but you get the idea. Um, it could be five or five thousand, and it makes no difference to me. I don't know, I guess it's a bit different when you're recording it, but... I don't know, I've also performed on stage, and doing that was not nearly as hard as performing in front of a few people. Hmm, I guess I have more- I can see Natsuki's side of it more than I thought. doesn't have to be your own poem. Well, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of a poetry reading? Hmm. Okay. It's start I'm actually kind of glad it's getting to the end of it now because I am starving and this episode has been going for a while. I didn't start a timer this time because I since I realize it's going to be roughly a week of in-game time, I'm better off just recording a day at a time because I don't want to put out, like, 20 episodes of this if I were to split up the days, and I don't know what happens after the first week. So, I, it might even go longer than that. So, putting a... An, an, a, bleh, a, a day of in-game time per episode seems like the best solution. So it seems like that my main way of actually making a difference in the story of this game is just in the poems that I write. Okay, this is probably different because I appealed to Natsuki as well. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to save before this option because I know that's the smart thing to do in visual novels. Again, I'm left with an option here of, I don't know. Um, truth be told with this kind of thing, again, I don't see the appeal of these characters. Like, again, this is if this is supposed to be some sort of dating sim, I don't see the appeal of it as a dating sim. So, I guess if I'm supposed to appeal to the character Natsuki, for, since that seems to be the path I'm going down, I guess I would say I'd walk home with her? Okay, so yeah, that seems where it goes. Hmm. And since it seems I'm going... Part of the reasoning why I'm doing this, by the way, I should explain. Um, since it seems like I'm going down the path for Natsuki, which... 
I'm hoping that doesn't get too awkward, but who knows what this kind of game. Um, I think it's better that I don't lie to Sayori. Because if I said, it's like, oh, no, no, I'm not interested in her at all. I'm just playing through the game for the, to get the, or, you get the idea. If I were to, if my character ends up dating uh, Natsuki, that would create a problem because then I'd be lying to Sayori now. That's my logic behind it, but maybe I'm wrong. She has... So one thing I want to point out that's kind of interesting about Sayori, she's almost always smiling, but most of the time she has a very sad look in her eyes, which I... I don't know, I think that's an interesting detail. Ex that's my point exactly. I didn't want to lie to her. Hmm. Well, that was interesting and all, but that's the end of this episode. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. We can play more of Doki Doki Literature Club. Still a weird name. Either way, see you then.